I have a battery box with a battery. And the battery is not too much room. So, thinking it has to go like this. So I have this much up in here. So I'm gonna put the put the amp protection here. And then I'll put the port on the side. That was a three quarter inch. Not completely waterproof yet, but I'll silicone it later. I cut it right here, then reuse the wire here. That will go to the battery, and this will just go straight to the battery. Mm, that's good. So it didn't go exactly as I planned. I think I got the general gist down. So there's the SAE port going to the aux side of the circuit breaker. That's the battery side going to the positive terminal. And the return going to the SAE port is right there so the only issue I was having was I don't have enough clearance it's a little too high so I had to put this little piece of um, plastic to prevent it hitting that red piece so when I close it doesn't fit great but at least I'm not clicking my circuit breaker so now I just have a less than ideal loose box which I'm thinking I can probably put some foam on the sides or something to kind of create like a gasket seal yeah let's uh, let's try that now maybe I'll put some pool noodles or something here to try to create a better fit but I'm not so worried I'm not making this uh, completely waterproof anyway yeah it's just better than having you know, it's definitely better than just putting these right on the battery so the next part I'm going to splice these on to uh, cut this and uh, put an SAE cable here so I can just plug it in so this will just go Okay, here's that cable. So I'm gonna take these, splice it with this, change basically this connection so that I can just do is it this. So I saw these things, Kujekt. And since I didn't really want to get into the whole soldering thing, these look pretty pretty nifty and smart. It's a piece of soldering material in the middle and an insulated sleeve on the outside. When you heat it, it solders and shrinks the wire around the wire, creating a very good splice and water, water resistant splice. I'm gonna try this out. It's right here. I'm 
Oh, I'm just gonna strip, strip these. Probably a, a distance about, I'd say like that. This is what you want that to be, and so it's not much. You're not gonna strip this much. This does look like a lighter gauge. Inside the owner's manual, it said to use, if you're going to splice, to use 8 or 10, depending on how long. But this is 12. This is even less. I went with 10. But this is... That, that's definitely 12. That's fine, as long as we're a little greater than what's there okay. right, so the sleeves are on This is a heat gun, and I did buy this because I need to also heat the PVC pipe. There's many other projects I can use it with. Okay. I should just do this one at a time. It looks better on the side that is meant to have. So you always put electrical tape over there. Just to kind of keep the connections together. Well, I'm not sure. So everything's plugged in. All right. Obviously, still need to do some tinkering. With this battery case, get my port. Just make sure it's off. Oh. Mm -hmm. We haven't really set up, you know, this piece in there yet. But we'll just hold it like so and see if it goes on. Yes. Oh, that's a good feeling. It's 
make the seal a little bit tighter. We added uh, it's like a pool noodle, half of a pool noodle on either side. And that just kind of, you know, provided a softer touch and uh, a little bit of lip here. So when I close it. It's a little bit snugger, it's not as loose. And then I just have this strap, I switch it from going this way to this way. So I'll just tighten it up. Whatever. It's tight enough. It's good. You just hold the battery like this. Lay it down. Plug it in. Boom, it's good to go. Recap this one more time. As you can see, I put some silicone there to kind of create a better seal. I also, as you see, there were vents here on the bottom. I closed those up with a piece of tape. That's pretty simple. You see, just put a piece of tape like that. And then for circuit breaker, I actually, the epoxy, the epoxy actually came off. So I don't know if you can see it, but I used a um, thick double stick tape. And you can see this is it. I'm, it's pretty thick, but it's a double stick tape. I want to say it could even be called alien tape. I'll leave a link if I have it. But this stuff's pretty good. And it's, it's holding there much better than the epoxy did. I think the plastic was just a little too smooth and the epoxy didn't hold and then of course the final thing that I did was put some of that luber plate stuff that I swear by on all the connections you can see it up there see it there and then obviously here too and then just tighten those down, put that stuff on there, and that should you know, give me a lot more life. And I even and I also put it here inside the uh, SAE port. You should put it everywhere, wherever there's a connection, just glob it on there. Just leave it out like that. And you can just attach. You can just attach to there. You just do that. And now it's charging.